Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, and welcome to the Monsters of Gaming. I am Juggernaut. I, I'm glad I'm not playing this game, Jared. <laughs> Behind the driver's seat is Necro. I just love to run in the mouth of a taser, Nick. <laughs> and with us is Kaiju. Wow. K. Wow. By the way, folks, if you missed the last episode, you don't have to worry about much. Not much happened. <laughs> and he started off. He started off early, folks. That's a death in less than twenty seconds. Twenty seconds into the intro, he's dead. Now, here's some news that I bet you he didn't know. But every time you die, your armor and weapons deteriorate a bit. And eventually they break. <laughs> oh, the look on Necro's face right now is death. <laughs> so that swan knife you just did to get to the elevator has damaged all of your equipment, making it weaker. On the plus side, it's already there. It's already there. Do not pull the lever. Do not pull the lever. It is behind you. If you would have pulled the lever right there, I would have ended the episode. <laughs> I would have deleted this video, it would have never came to life. <laughs> At least my swans out of war never existed. Oh no, it still would have existed. That would have been a blooper reel. <laughs> Damn. What not to do in Dark Souls? Everything Be Necro Nick. <laughs> I was say everything I'm doing. The only thing that's n was, uh, is upsetting now is that fan base of yours that loves to hear you scream didn't hear you scream when you jumped off. Aw, oh, yeah, I should have screamed. Sorry, guys. Yes, I've actually gotten six or seven emails from different viewers asking about Necro Nick's amazing scream. And no, I do not sound like that in bed. Wow! Well, after five years, he wouldn't know. <gasps> oh! oh! The shots have been fired! I think that was a burning arrow. Gonna need Sensu Bean for that one. Sensu Bean! <laughs> I'm just kidding, folks. It hasn't been that long for him. Although he's going to need a Senzu Bean for that heal. <laughs> this brought to you by Teams 4 Star again. I, Folks, I just love their abridged series. Uh, within the past couple days, I have watched the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series and the entire Dragon Ball Z The Abridged series. And I am just, I'm cracking up every time I watch it. Okay. So, yeah, try. Now, stop and think before you rush in. It's too late, he's got to rush in. Uh, there we go. Of course, another important thing to remember is your health. Which at that point was fairly low. Suckage. Negative numbers. How you doing, Necro? <laughs> Hey Necro. hey, Necro, I got a question for you. Well, Aren't you glad you wanted to play this today? Okay, I'm not gonna give him. I'm not gonna give him any help, folks. But I'm gonna ask him a question. Necro, at this point, do you really believe this shield is worth this? And the answer may surprise you. Yes. You are correct, sir. But if you want, go ahead and take a swab down Blight Town real quick. Why does that not sound trustworthy? What? Listen. Gamers will admit, even the best gamers will admit, that Blight Town is one of the most horrible things ever designed in a video game. Alright? Freaking recorder outside is driving me nuts. One of my one of my brother's kids are playing the recorder outside, it's driving me nuts. But anyways. Uh even even expert players hate Blight Town, dude. Blight Town is one of the worst places. If I could somehow skip Blight Town, the, I think I would. I think Dark Souls would be a much better game. As of the moment, I agree with a lot of the fan base that says Dark Souls Two is definitely better than Dark Souls One. Um, not that it's easier, but there's no Blight Town. <laughs> 
Even even Demon Souls has a blight townish area. Only in Demon Souls, you weren't so lucky. Ne now Necro's not gonna play Demon Souls out of pure fear. Because uh well if if he's having this much trouble on Dark Souls, why are you trying to cut down the rope bridge? <laughs> this is not Indiana Jones. <laughs> You will not hear the famous theme music. You will not survive, and no half-naked guy will climb up and scream Kale Mei as he tries to rip out your heart. <laughs> right? In fact, seeing as you're currently an undead, I'm not even sure it would do anything to you. Some some half-naked guy said, says Kale Mei as he tries to rip out his heart. He's he, not, he, he, just going to look at him and go, SEXUAL HARASSMENT, and just punch him. Now! Epic nipple rub! Pow! <laughs> Okay, maybe shield first, then roll. Or perhaps not roll into dragon, but roll next to dragon. Or preferably away from lightning. Oh dear god, look out, it's learning! Necro, if you time it properly, you can just run by them and grab the item at this point. <laughs> you're not losing any souls anymore. You're just, you're just losing. <laughs> there you go, folks. From from th that was to make up for him jumping off the elevator and not screaming. That 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 scream right there. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't think I could ever get my voice to that octave, but. Uh, Necro, woo! <laughs> that was a double duty scream. I think I'm gonna call this episode Dragon Screamer. <laughs> Dragon Slay. Oh, Screamer. <laughs> you see, at, at this point, Necro, I think I would just say screw uh, killing them and uh, just go straight for the shield. I mean, you can still kill them. They drop amazing items and a lot of soul. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm just saying, wow. Now, of course, at this point in time, folks, a lot of people have gone and taken different paths. Uh, and I believe if we take the other path, Necro might actually be able to run into somebody to teach him more powerful magic. But I can't even quote that. Any other path? No, no, the, the... Well, yeah, you can take that path, but no, there's a... That leads to Blight Town, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah. How long will it go to Blight Town? <laughs> Fuck Blight Town. This is the end of the episode. We're not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Blight Town. <laughs> yeah, the, the worst part, folks, is he's having a lot of trouble here. He hasn't seen the, the horror that is Blight Town. In fact, the only time he, he saw a good view of Blight Town, somebody was using a modding tool, so they took all the darkness away. So the place was actually really lit up, and you could see everything. Oh, so that's not how Blight Town works? Oh, hell no! Hey. Blight Town is a dark, dismal abyss of horror and hell, where poison is everywhere and disease is rampant. Where there are fire-breathing slug monsters and poisonous mosquitoes and little guys bouncing around shooting toxic darts and fire-breathing dogs. Oh, so that's what Necro has to has to look forward to. 
And that's not counting the bosses. Oh, you prick, you. Heal. Run. Let's see if he can do it properly here. All right, now for the difficult one. Sparkler. Grab and run, grab and run. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Well, he got what he came for, folks. He got the spider shield. But for someone who absolutely hates spiders. Oh, trust me, he's gonna need it. I got it, guys. Okay, so now you should equip it, and now you get to go to Blight Town! Yay! Everyone, clap! I don't like this clapping. Oh, you're, you're gonna hate this clapping. Okay, so I ain't Does he have it? Oh, this is just the helmets. Yeah, the brigand armor and everything like that. It's just, it's just different stuff, you know? It's a little better defensively than it is, you know? It's better all around. Except for the magic defense. Where's the magic defense? The second oh, one. Yeah, okay. Is there a lot of magic in that? Uh, not to my knowledge. There may. But the thing is that this is the Prepare to Die edition. This is a brand new game. So actually, all the enemy placements have been different for me. Kind of. There may. There may not. Yeah. I mean, you know, the Brigand Armor is uh, another example. You know, you get... A nice boost to defense, but you lose a lot of magic defense. Because technically, if you go by, you know, what they asked you to do and not help ne Necro... I'm not. He, I'm only helping him as far as he's already been helped. The last thing he needs to do is pop on that spider shield, which gives him a huge poison defense. Mm. And now... Blight Town! Blight Town! Or he can explore. It's up to him. Let's see how far he goes, folks. Will he go, or will he go mad? I'm already mad. Oh, well then, okay, well then we only have one way to go. Yeah, when I, when I first ran through that freaking dragon area, I thought I had to kill every one of those dragons. Mm -hmm. So I systematically pulled them all back to that one location. I can't remember what spell I had. I, I, I know it was later in the game. I think I had Greater Lightning Spear. It's a spell, it's a miracle. And I just sat there, and when they were all on them, I just boom, 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 wasted them. Only to find out that I actually didn't have, I mean, drops great items, lots of experience, but you really don't have to kill them. A lot of souls. A lot of souls. But they also drop, I believe they drop, uh, dragon scales. Which are good for upgrading your equipment later on. But where is he gonna go, folks? Well, he fell down. Oh boy. <laughs> At this point, Necro's pretty much named all these guys for how many times he's ran past. Still clutching rocks, huh, Steve? Mm -hmm. Keep at it. <laughs> Bill, you still worshiping the pot? I get a hobby, dude. Oh, and you're you're still beating the ground like it's your grandmother. Okay, we're, we're moving on. You guys are still talking to each other. You guys still turn your backs. All right, cool. I'm just going to go this way. Don't mind me. Yeah. So Necro's actually never gone this way. And he's not going towards Blight Town either. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Got a little bullet. Grow up some spouts there. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't think I ever saw that if it was actually in the game originally. <laughs> um. Well. Yeah. I think he oh, he has something. A, a transient curse? Two of them? Ooh. Hey, Kaiju. Yo. I think he was stoned. He was stoned, alright. That was a transient curse. Very important items later on. Tight spot ahead. Really? You don't say. What happens if Necro goes this way? Let's see. Yep, yeah, well, like I said, 
the only the only thing he knows is that he eventually has to get to Blight Town so he can ring the bell. You can ring the bell. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yep, there's an item there. I think I know where he is. If memory serves me, I know where he is, in which case... <laughs> May the gods... Oh, <laughs> fuck me, what's this? Yep, yep, it's where I thought it was. Oh, God, no! We're in the knee! Ah! Damn! I think I picked you straight! In the elevator! Yeah, I know where he is now. That explains the items he picked up. Bad <laughs> 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 Oh shit! I ran it wrong! Okay. Heal. I don't believe they leave the area, Nick, but I know where that is. I heal. Oh, I know where that is. <laughs> that is bad juju. Bad juju. Okay, so the item he picked up was called the Transient Curse. And what it does is it basically gives him the ability to attack ghosts. Without the item, he can't. Ooh, the s stock. I didn't know it was there. What the hell's that? I might be thinking about a different weapon, too. No, I'm pretty sure it's this is the s stock. The s stock's a really good rapier. Uh, Probably not as good as your dragon sword, but still a good item. Nope, nope. Uh, that's Astrara's straight sword that you picked up earlier. Yeah, your your drink sword does way more damage right now, but as you upgrade the other weapons, it'll slowly be put in its place. Uh, yeah, the S stock. It's a nasty little sucker. I've seen a lot of builds based around it. You see, the lighter weapons don't take as much stamina, mm -hmm. so you can hit more times in a row with them. Whereas, like his Drake sword, I think you can only swing like five or six times. With a rapier, though, you can hit eight, nine, ten times. So. Gotcha. Is that guy sunning himself? Apparently. Ugh. But, what, this guy? but with what sun? Well, at one time there was a sun. Oh, talk. <laughs> hmm? This is more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't have brought I'm Ricky, I've been on. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Sure. Try talking to him again. Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow. <coughs> Although, I must admit, I'm not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what may be the best. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah. You can purchase new items, modify, reinforce. Unfortunately, I got no souls. Oh, see what he's got, though. <gasps> Heavy soul arrow! <laughs> <laughs> and I hate to say it, but the required souls is 4,000. <laughs> Oh, wee oh. Ain't that a kick in the teeth? That is a kick in the teeth. You just try to modify your sword? You can't. The Drake sword is only good until it gets replaced. Wow. So, uh, how you doing, Nick? <laughs> I need to go find <laughs> Look, there's some there. Sorry, Louie. Gotta do it. Bye, Louie. Going on a murdering spree, a murdering spree, a murdering spree. Jack, look out! I'm back! <laughs> your pot doesn't like me, and I don't like your pot. I don't praise your pot, God, and you don't praise mine. Mm -hmm. Well, he's getting 24 for each person he kills. So at this rate, 
kills 10 of them, he'll have 240 souls. And Unfortunately, the episode is over. <sighs> so, folks, um, Nick has gained his spider shield. He has found the guy who sung his next powerful spell, and he is roughly 3,800 souls behind. <laughs> but until next time, folks, I'm Kaiju Gay. I'm Nick or Nick. I'm Juggernaut Jared. And we'll talk to you guys in the future. Peace out, everybody. Peace. Ever extremes of manliness. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was an epic scream of manliness. Yes, that's what we're going with.